What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII. Once again, me the lonesome rabbit. I know, guys and gals, you join me outside of a bridge. Uh, yeah. So, if you watched the previous episode, you'll know that I kind of took the long way around to get to this hidden little village place over here. I've completely forgot what it's called, but we'll get there eventually. Anyway, so now there is a weird pink beast in the way, and we're probably going to face him on. And I left as a bit of a cliffhanger in the previous episode, but honestly, he's probably going to be a bit of a bitch. So, come on. Oh, never mind. We <laughs> got cut a bit short there. Ooh, an actual reasonably tough crew. Okay. Never mind, they're not that tough. Okay. Um, can I use Zap on the whole crew? I can use Zap. Oh my god, I didn't actually realize I can use Zap. That's actually a pretty good move, to be fair, for BLT actually using an, an, an entire crew of enemies. Um, I mean, especially for like a move that Booker can do anyway, because he doesn't sort of tend to be able to do much. At least not in the way of like big groups, per se, but Zap's actually not too bad. I mean, it doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but it does a decent amount of damage. That's not. That's pretty good, to be fair. I mean, it's probably about the same amount that Jessica's Boom will actually do, to be fair. So, kudos, kudos. Oh, they're resistant to boom. I every fucking time. I always bloody forget about that, don't I? Christ. God damn it. Angela's wounds heal. And Jessica recovers MP. God damn it. I, I've not missed this animation. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, yeah, another zappy zappy. If Yangus, if you give me another Grimmery Perupi. Uh, Jessica, instead, if you give me a fingers to crackle, as in like the. Ah, there we go. Give it a crackle. Give it a crackle, a crackle. Every I don't know how every single time I always bloody forget about that not uh, about these guys not being able to uh, get damaged by kabooms. Two down? Are you being serious? Four? What the hell's going on with this? Watch out, the guys casting mid heal. Seven damage. I mean, you guys are improving, and I'm not, I, I gotta give you credit for that. Honestly, the stirrups might. Oh, I was gonna put the stirrups might actually die there. To be fair, but. And Yangus is going to use a Grim Reaper on one guy, isn't he? Yep, he is. This is why I shouldn't take control of Yangus. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, God, I wish you could skip this part at the end here. Or if it was like a text bubble, and I could just like skip over it and stuff like normal. That'd be, that'd be much better, but instead I have to just watch that bloody animation go every single time. Uh, I'll use Zap again. Yangus, if you just attack Cyclops and... Uh, yeah, you can just crackle. Why not get him done nice and quick? Nice and quick, boy. He probably will take out one of these guys. Yep. Crackle. There we go. So we're talking about that's what we're talking about, boy. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Sweet. Hello, ladder. Hello, Mr. Pitchfork, boy. Arch, arch, uh, arch, arch. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay. I don't know if there's a pun or not, but sure. Okay. Uh, Yang's attack. He'll give it a Kafrizzle. Hopefully, you aren't resistant to Kafrizzles, but we'll find out. Decent amount of damage, nice, okay. So this is one of the enemies I just I, I don't always know as to where <laughs> as to how tough they'd actually be. Um, because they just don't always look like they're gonna be that tough, because this enemy, in my mind, I, I wouldn't actually judge him to be that tough at all. But um at the same time, there are sometimes enemies like this which they just blow you out of the water and stuff you really don't expect them to. But I mean not at this point anyway, but I mean if you were to, like to do this a bit sooner on in the game, but yeah. Obviously not this, not exactly this area and stuff because you can't let you get to this area earlier on in the game. But you know what, you know what, you know what I mean, boys. You know what I mean. We really don't need the kabuff right now, Angelo. Come on, I trust you with healing, boy. What are you doing? I still, I still admire the bloody jiggle animation on fucking Jessica's boobs every time she uses a spell, which obviously extends her arms and stuff, and the boobs just jiggle up and down. It's like, come on, game. Like, where's the where's the penis animation? I mean, I mean, all, all the crotches are covered up, so I want, I want to see some flopping down there, you know what I mean? I mean, maybe you guys don't know what I mean, but <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying not nah, I mean. Not nah, I mean. I sound like a chav from South End. Um, no, I, I am joking. I, I, by the way, if you guys don't know, I'm entirely straight. I was just joking about the uh, penis animation. I was just curious why they don't do it, is all. Jesus, you're actually taking some damage. Okay. He's like, this is my bridge. Okay, so, uh, fuck. I guess, to be honest, Falcon Slash seems to be doing a bit more damage than anything else right now, to be fair, I'll put a normal attack for Jessica. <laughs> wow, okay, he is not going to get the chance to attack, is he? Christ. Oh, well, there we go. That's a shame. I mean, I was interested if she did have any decent damage to him at all, but apparently not. Okay, gold, a gold monster coin. Jesus, you were not that tough, were you? Whew. Whew, 926. 
damn. I mean, that's such a fair amount. Um, cool, he's, well, except for his defense and agility, he's actually much better than Potbelly. Um, what's Dumb King? Oh, Dumb King, so he, Potbelly's better than that. So Dumb King, he is, I would say, uh, I mean, attack-wise, definitely better than Dumb King. Um, hmm. And Dumb King's the one next, yeah. I mean, Octorion could be a good choice to sort of get rid of him, because we aren't really going to ever use him again. Um, I'll, I'll choose... I'll, yeah, I'll do Dumb King. Why not Dumb King? It's not really too important, to be fair. What I will do, though, actually, is before we carry on, because I know I'm going to bloody forget to this one point, because if we actually make our teams... Um, the monster team ragazzo. So, yes, we've got our Stone Man team. But I'm thinking if we actually switch this round. So, we've got the... I wonder, because I wonder, we have got another one, haven't we? We have. Oh. Oh. We've got our three little boys. So, aka two eyes. What does it mean by aka two eyes? What would that mean if I. What if I did this? Does that change that? No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Because, uh, I mean. What? Why? I, I wonder if. Okay, so I wonder if I do. That. So we've got Gigantes, Gangster, Big Blue Bully, and... Oh, oh! What? Hmm. So Gigantes, Cyclops, and Gigantes. Huh. So the Cyclops is actually a bit weaker. Huh. Intriguing. I will actually... Oof. Oh, you are just... Uh, that, that HP is tasty in my mind. Um. See, Talos is just such a fucking tank. I just need to... I'll keep Talos in there, to be fair, because I mean, I'm not really benefiting any from, anymore from having like any different members in there now. Um, I might change Brontes actually with... Just, this is purely just in case I ever get to the point where... Yeah, except for defense, he actually is much better than Brontes, to be fair. And Steropes, because you've, you've been a good boy to me for a fair while. I don't really want to change you out if I don't need to. Um, yeah, you'll stay as pretty, pretty much my good one. I don't know if he's just... No. Okay, that's cool. Nice. Alright. Let's uh, continue on forwards and slowly as... F hopefully, but bloody surely... We'll eventually get to this bloody place. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so if you guys had didn't miss the previous episode, we've been spending a lot of time just kind of walking because uh, we sort of are struggling to get anywhere right now. Uh, oh, a Mohawker. Nice. Uh, okay. Um, Fellow can slaughter. And we give it a just attack the Mohawk guy. No, sorry, the, the Buffalo. Buffalo. We don't need the defense. We should be okay. We're like OP to these guys at the moment. Well, I mean, in all fairness, by adding that to us, we probably wouldn't take any damage anyway. So, I mean, kind of helps and that comes in handy. But I don't know, lad. I don't know. I'm just hoping we get to this bloody thing today. I mean, we're taking, like, forever to get to this one bloody place. I think that's the first time I've actually seen one of those buffalo, those buffalo guys actually attack, so... Hmm. Okay. I can imagine Yanks will probably finish that guy off. 34 damage That's all he did. That's all he bloody did. Ah, oh, dear. Okay. We get to see this animation for the millionth time. Perfect. Come on, Jessica, finish him off. Sounds like, sounds like some kind of weird words at Dragon Quest Orgy. Come on, Jessica, finish him off. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I guess why we are wandering through the lovely forest. Um, I'll bring up some previous topics from through the, the last episode, I guess. Um, yeah, games, I guess, as ever. Games are a good good topic to talk about. Um, there's been more and more word on the new Dragon Quest coming out to the U uh, UK and US and stuff, so I'm quite excited for that. Um, I'm intrigued to see exactly what's going to happen with it as a whole, because... I don't know, I, on, as, 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 as I've said multiple times and stuff, I, I haven't really played that many Dragon Quest games except this one. I've played a lot of them, this one a lot of times, but I haven't really played many others bar this one per se. So, I don't really know what to expect from it, to be fair. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be something like this, because this has been, I'm pretty sure this was probably one of the most popular ones in the US and UK, because obviously they re-released it back on DS and stuff, I'm pretty sure that did pretty well. Um, and, uh, yeah, so... I don't know, I, I'd be intrigued to see how well, number one, I'd be intrigued to see how well it does, and actually number two, see how actually good it is as well, to be fair, because, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I probably would get it, I, I actually am also planning on hopefully getting uh, Ninukuni 2 at one point as well, but, uh, yeah, sort of a plan on sort of when and stuff, to be fair, so I, I don't even know 
if they ever, they haven't actually mentioned anything about when the, the Dragon Quest 10 is due to come out. I think they've just sort of confirmed it's going to come out over here. But uh, yeah. Yeah, not long till Nino Kuni 2 as well, though. I probably will eventually pick up that bad boy too. That's not really on my list too hard, just because I haven't ever actually... Because I, I completed the base. When I say base, I sort of like... If you guys have played Nino Kuni on DS before, um, the game ends at a certain point, basically, uh, which the PS3 version actually continues onwards afterwards. So, um... I've actually completed up to the point in which the PS, the DS version ends, if that makes sense. And I did start the part afterwards, because I actually played on PS3. But I never actually finished the part afterwards and stuff, so... Yeah, so I would rather finish Nino Kuni first, then go and continue to play someone else. Or to continue to play Nino Kuni 2. That's a big old fire for a single guy there, to be fair, but that was my bad. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, I honestly don't know when I'm going to as a bloody player. Because, I mean, honestly, I'll, I'll probably start Nino Kuni on the channel, to be fair, because that's the best place to sort of me, for me to do it right now. Um, on whenever I sort of finish up this series, per se. So I may as well sort of do it soon, but sort of don't know when the bats that'll be, to be fair, because I'm not too sure, honestly, how long we're going to have left of this game, to be fair, because obviously we've got the um, rest of the base story to do, and as well the sort of, like, dragon statue area as well. If you guys don't know what I mean by dragon statue area, it's that sort of, like, area in the sky, which is like, the bonus area for the post-game thing, but, uh, yeah. A lot of stuff to do. Okay. Alright, sorry about that, guys and gals. Okay, let's continue on forward. Yeah. Okay, um... So yeah, there was actually a chest up here as well, which we may as well... Yeah, we may, we may as well grab it. I mean, honestly, at this point, we've just we've taken such a long old fucking stroll for the woods, we may as well bloody grab it if we can. We could probably sing the entirety of the fucking uh, Into the Woods soundtrack while we're in here as well. Um... Okay, which is... Just, just don't even bring up Into the Woods with me. That's... That's a film I, I've always just felt... Is just... Is, I don't know, I was, I was very... Very uh, in the wrong state of mind to be watching uh, Into the Woods when I eventually got around to it and stuff. I, I watched Into the Woods for the first time. If you guys know what Into the Woods is, it's like a musical film starring like Mel Streep. I think Mel Streep's in it. Um, I think Anna Kendrick's in it. Chris Pine's in it. Uh, James Corden's in it. I think Emily Blunt is in it as well. Um, but uh, yes, it's it's an intriguing film. It's it's honestly I watched it and I just didn't like any of it because I, I watched it on a plane. Um, number one, I was very tired. Number two, um, the intro of the fucking film was dreadful. All it, honestly, honestly, the, the start of it is her is this one female singer, uh, child singer probably, um, constantly just going into the woods, into the woods, into the woods, into the woods. Over and fucking over again. That part of the beginning feels like it takes forever. I wanted to watch the film. I think it's on, I think it's still on my watch list to eventually watch and stuff. But I, I just sort of like, I yeah, uh, I, I just couldn't go past that part. It was just so bloody and it was just annoying. I don't know if the, the film is good or bad or not. I've heard mixed things. I've heard Meryl Streep is really really good in it, but everything else about it is quite subpar. But um, yeah, I I, I said that's a fucking part. It just wound me the shit up. I was like, Jesus Christ! It just kept going into the woods, into the woods, into the woods, into the woods. I was like, Jesus, shut up! I was like, you don't have to tell me this. I mean, honestly, if you guys haven't seen the film, you haven't seen the introduction, you probably you might be like, oh, I'm sure it's not that bad. He's probably overreacting. But like, just give it in the give it a little watch. It's quite the intriguing little. Uh, bloody thing to experience and stuff. It, I, I don't know, I mean, maybe I just couldn't bear for it that much because I was uh, tired, but, I mean, yeah, it was just, it was, it was, it was as I said, when you travel on a, on a plane, it's not always the best time to be watching a film you want to see. Um, but yeah. I, um, yeah, watching, watching, yeah, like, watching movies on a plane is always quite a weird one, though, to be fair, as a whole, because I watched, uh, Walter Mitty, uh, on a, um, plane once, if you guys don't know what, I think it's called Walter Mitty, the one with, um, Ben Stiller and, and it's, it's a, it was a decent film, but I didn't think it was anything amazing. But a friend of mine really likes it. Um, but I just I just didn't think it was that great. So I don't know, maybe I missed something in it because I was watching on a plane and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know. It was it's, I don't know I don't I don't mind like um, uh, watching films on planes. I think that's actually quite good sometimes because it just it really passes by the time quite quick. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, maybe watching a fresh film, maybe a new film isn't really like, as in a film you haven't seen before, it's not always the best move. It's probably my mistake, to be fair, for watching Into the Woods on a plane, but then again, judging by how people reacted to it, it's not always me, it's not all me, if that makes sense, it is partially the film as well. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, it's another cow! Give me some milk, cow! Oh! Cow! Cow! 
Give me your milk. What is this? Ooh, are we actually here? Oh, fucking not yet, apparently. Christ. God, <laughs> we will never get there. <laughs> okay, Falcon Slash. Um, a Grim Reaper. And we'll go for a Cuffrizzle. Cuffrizzle coming in in mount. Actually, no, we'll go for a Cuffrizzle. Cuffrizzle coming in in mount. That is a tasty amount of damage, Christ. I'm actually quite lucky that Cyclops A wanted to do that, to be fair, though. Because honestly, I mean, if Cyclops A actually had attacked Yangs, then he probably could have taken him out, so. Go on, Yangs. Take back some vengeance. Ah, oh, damn. Always, always gets me pretty excited to see a good old whack kill, to be fair. I'm not going to worry too much about healing uh, Yangs myself. I'll probably just let Angelo do it for now. Because um, he should be able to handle it okay. Um. Boo, 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 Nice done. There we go. 355. That's what we fucking like. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Words. Okay, there we go. Nicely done. Looks like it was A is Dune. Oh, I pressed. Oh, I pressed fucking Grim Reaper. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Nicely done. Cyclops are defeated. Because this actually looks like the kind of thing that'd be an entrance. Like, it's too. Looks very tight. Actually, mm, might not be. Nope, more path, more path. We've discovered a path. God fucking, I honestly thought that was gonna be it then. Like, Jesus Christ, okay. This is taking, this is taking a lot longer than I honestly expected. I am not gonna lie, but uh, yeah. Okay, um, I'll tell you what, while while we're waiting for the animations to go past, I will actually have a quick gander to see if how much actually stuff there is outside. I can't say I'll actually go back and sort of get anything now. I just always get it like, you know, during a break or whatever and stuff. Um, let's have a look. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, so there's... Oh, we've actually all the stuff already, so there's only just the two chests. The chest we started at, uh, there's actually only that guy there. We're actually all the, all the monsters as well. We've actually cleared out the entire thing unintentionally. Okay. Hmm. Fair. I, uh, I did not expect that. Cool. Can't complain, can't complain. Okay. Alright, so let's go. Okay, how let's see how actually how far we actually are through this now. We must be we must be this must be the part. Okay, we're all, oh my god, we actually have a reasonable amount of time to fucking go, Christ. Oh, there we go. Okay, Jesus Christ, that's actually quite good. <laughs> Alright. Now this actually is quite a cool little town, so I'll I'll let this place Oh, well, I was hoping this place would play out, but never mind. This is a very little town, Christ, okay. Hello, Mr. Monster. Are you? This is Try and Gully. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh. I, I think a monster just spoke to me. Cool blood. No, I'm fed up with saying that old line now. Um, you there? Uh, you're a monster, uh, but you don't fight or run away. What business do you have being so welcoming? Explain yourself. Here in Tryon Gully, humans and elves and me. Monsters all live happily together. <laughs> so why would I run away when I see a human? <laughs> I... I... Well, I never. I had no idea such a place existed. Of course, you know what this means. I can wander about without causing a stir. It's a veritable paradise. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, follow me. So there we go, we can now play as Trode, which is actually, honestly, in my mind, pretty cool. Uh, I do like as well how Trode, it honestly feels like when you play as Trode, he plays a little bit like um, Munchie. <laughs> I, I don't know why I relate those two together, but it just feels like the way he controls and his like, tank controls, it honestly feels a tiny bit like Munchie. But uh, let's have a little look so we can get a good play look at the place. 
Looks pretty sweet. There is actually a fair amount of things normally going on here, but I'm guessing because we got here at night, it's not quite as uh, intent. I also love, I don't know why, I really like the voice acting of that monster. It was very generic in the way it was like, kind of like a creepy monster <laughs> kind of voice, but it was a... Ooh, sorry, pardon me. Uh, ooh, <laughs> pardon me again. Um, it was actually kind of cool. I actually do quite like those kind of voices and stuff. I think it's like an interesting thing to do. And not actually even the easiest to pull off, so... Hello. When I was little, I nearly fell down to the bottom of the gully. I did, it's true. But my friend swooped down and saved me. He caught me while I was falling. He's a Draki, you know. You're a monster too. Monsters are cool. <laughs> Trode's like, maybe I don't like this place too much. I got called a monster. <laughs> All right. But it's quite cool though. I just feel like that uh, that Tro does have his kind of own animation stuff, like the way he moves and the way he sort of feels animation animates for stuff. Like he actually, I mean, he actually does have his own kind of like little way he does things. I think it's so cool. I see a hefty man chest down there as well. Ooh, hello. Well, I don't think we'll actually be able to access them, but still. Hello, Nightmon, or whatever you're called. Nightmon. <laughs> Playing too much Digimon. Uh, Rapporn is the Lord of Darkness, ruler of the world of darkness. With all his might, he might he, he could not control his lust for power. He came here to the world of light, thinking he could reign over that too. But he was stopped by the seven great sages. They sealed him away in a huge rock somewhere in our world. In a rock? Hmm. I think it's the first time I heard that. Ooh, you're a fine looking specimen, aren't you? How about a kiss? Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Slow down, I was only joking. Oh, oh, oh men are this all the same. You're, you're... What if I say no? No, typical, you men are all the same. If it isn't the puff puff, you're not interested. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright. What's this, a new face? Now that you've come all this way, it simply wouldn't do to miss on our entire Karen Gully's most famous drink. Um, it's called Dry Giganti. Would you like uh, to try one? It's a mere cost of nine gold coins. Yeah, sure, why not? Thank you, one dry gold. Blah, blah, blah. Come out. Ooh. An actual cutscene, nice. This is a dry gigantini. Agitated, not distressed. Why don't you give it a try, sir? Ha 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 ha! You read me like a book, my good man. This is just what I was looking for. Oh, goodness! Well, well, well. I am impressed. This is delicious. Thank you, sir. You flatter me. Perhaps while you enjoy your drink, I could entertain you with a tale of Triangle. As you wish, my good man. This drink is more than enough entertainment for me. <laughs> you are too kind, but please, allow me to begin. The great sage Kupas was out walking one day when he found an elf and a gigant lying injured in the road. Hating to see any creature suffer, he tended to their wounds and he saved their lives. Amazed that a human should show them such kindness, they pledged their allegiance to Kupas. And from that day forth, the three of them were inseparable. But the lifespan of humans, elves, and monsters is very different. After many years, Kupas passed on into the great beyond. Determined to honor his dying wish, the elf and the gigant established a settlement here in the gully. And ever since then, humans, elves, and monsters have lived here side by side in peace, never forgetting Kupas's wish. That no one should ever be allowed to forget how Rapthorn had terrorized the world. So, that's why the inhabitants of this valley are always sure to tell travelers about the terror of the Lord of Darkness. Well, well, that's quite a tale. Very interesting, I'm sure. But this drink is absolutely fascinating. Hmm. Well, that was delicious. It was worth venturing this far into the forest just for that alone. Thank you for your custom, sir. I wish you a pleasant journey. Well, there we go. That was actually a really nice tale. So, actually, explains sort of the backstory of Tyron Gully as a whole. I forgot it was called Tyron Gully. I was trying to. Ooh! I did not realize you found another slime crown. That's actually pretty badass. Okay, and we've got another bank here as well. Cool. Hello, Mr. Slime Man. Welcome to the gold bank. You don't currently have any gold in the deposit. I am all good. Thank you very much. I really need that kind of service right now. 
Thank you very much. We look forward to serving you. Ooh. I look forward to you serving me. <laughs> anyway. Hello, man. Oh, I defeated your brother in the thing or two a little while ago. Everyone here in the Tyrion Gully hid the fact that David was an heir to of one of the great sages. Raya swore to uh, us to secrecy. She said that he, he should only be told uh, sorry, only be told once he was old enough to understand and how now this has happened. It's terrible. Okay, so boys, you guys are bringing me on best friends for a bit here, so what do you guys have for Sheola? Because I honestly don't really know what you guys actually sell here. So a flowing dress? Okay, that's pretty cool, but I mean, not really too handy right now. Uh, do I have- I think I have a couple of- um, yes, I do. I'll give you this quickly, ladder. Yeah, I honestly don't know. Now we've made the, uh, sword, I'm honestly not too sure what I can use another slime crown for, to be fair. Because we did use the old slime crown for, uh, Booker's sword, but I mean, I think we can use the slime crown for a couple more recipes. I think actually we might have something to do with the, the main chess piece, like slime, metal armor, I think, on there, but I'm not too sure. Ooh, Dragon's Bane, nice. Uh, King Axe. The Great Bow. Nice. Okay, so that's actually pretty badass. Oh. Wait, is that a... Is that a sight? That's, oh, what? What? I just... Awesome. Okay, cool. I, I didn't even know we had a new... That's pretty... I, I, uh. <laughs> I'm getting lost here, guys and gals. That's pretty badass. So, wait. Are we... No way. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know we had another scythe coming up. Huh. Okay, yeah, I will take that bad boy. Cool. Um, yeah, go oh shit. Um, no, 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 it's okay. Uh, yeah, just pop it. You, you know what? It's okay. I'm gonna just quickly sell. I, I mean, uh, let's have a quick check to see if it actually can be used for anything else. Just to make sure. That's pretty bad. I did not honestly, honestly know we had another scythe coming up. I thought we actually sort of got to the peak. Oh, this is the last one. Cool. Uh, okay, that is actually not used for any other recipes, so we don't have to worry about that. I'll warn you. I will sell this. You won't get it back. There we go. Cheers, laddie. He's like, well, I have a unique thing. That must be worth a fair amount. We probably sells of like 2p. Um, heavy hatchet? Yes, please. That is, I honestly did not expect this. I completely forgot there was actually any existence of another, another hit thing here. I knew there's another bow coming up. Um, but yeah, so if we actually, tell you what, if I just, I don't really know what to do for Angela right now, because I want to mix them all, like literally all these three bows together, because I can put them all together now and yeah, if I have him purely focused on healing at this point, if I just, like, un un disarm him entirely, um, <clears throat> once I go outside again, actually, to be fair, I might be able to do it now, um, I'll, uh, pop my theme jig all together, um, sorry, pop them all in the, uh, alchemy pot all together and stuff and just get them going, so that as soon as we sort of get out of here and stuff, it probably will be pretty much ready to go. Um, that's pretty cool. I was trying to see how much, actually, how actually strong that Blizzard Blade actually was, but that's actually pretty bad. I didn't honestly expect that to actually have that much good stuff there, so thank you very much, Lanny. I'm very impressed by that. Okay, Armor Man, what you got? Okay, Gigant Armor, uh, Mirror Armor, ooh, 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 and Great Helm. Oh, nice. I was actually worried that Yangus actually wouldn't get another helmet, to be fair, because he was actually kind of pushing back a little bit on that. Um, okay, so Angelo is fine, so we'll just get uh, Yangus a new helmet, because he actually does need one, because the Iron Headgear is quite old now, to be fair. Okay. And we're given the Great Helm. So, to be honest, I wonder, like, how these guys spend their currency. Because, I mean, presumably, they haven't actually got any access to the outside world. Or, I guess maybe they have. Maybe they've got some kind of, like, trade thing going on. Um, I guess it makes more sense to get the Mirror Shield for... A mysterious Shield that occasionally reflects a spell. Hmm. Maybe we don't do that just yet, because that's kind of a risque move, to be fair. Um... Shield that restores some of the user's HP when using an item in battle. Yeah, I honestly think the pa I, honestly I think after the the whole debacle of the fucking um, what's it called uh, the um, was it mystical dress or some shit like that. Uh, I think after all that, I think honestly it's worth me just sticking with the power shield. Oh, I, there you go, cool. Uh, yes, give it to Angelou. Yes, yes, Yugi boy. Uh, okay, so we don't have to worry about that. And it's just mirror armor. Cool. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. Um, don't be wrong. That's a decent amount of damage it increases as to how much it can resist. But I honestly don't think it's worth it. Because that would just... No. Because if I do that, I know for a fact it's going to be a pain in the ass. Because... Um, 
both of those guys can probably get like down like so many times because I ain't got a bloody good armor for them. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them what they have now. I'm just gonna just double check just while we're paused what actually is the next best thing. So if we sorry, I always I always say we as if we're like you guys actually see what I'm looking at. Um Yeah, yeah, there hasn't really actually kind of a next best armor for them to be fair. We also have the best thing for them at the moment. Uh obviously until like the Metal King armor, so Okay, I mean, for now, we're going to leave it at that, but it's a shame, because we can't really do too much else, but we'll leave them with it, because I know the, the mirror arm is going to give a pain in the ass. I mean, honestly, they've got high enough defense at this point anyway, so I mean, they seem to be doing okay. So we should be alright, we should be alright, so <clears throat> yeah, honestly, I think that's about it, really, isn't it? So cool. Alright, cheers, lads. <clears throat> I can't always actually give Angelo the dragon's robe after- sorry, I was just slamming on my chest number two sex. Um, I can't actually always give, uh, Angelo the dragon's robe as well at one point, because, uh, once I've actually given him that, because obviously, um, Jessica will soon have the, uh, the weapon with the- or the arm- the armor we're sort of cooking up in the alchemy pot. I don't know if that's done yet, because I haven't actually really paid much attention to it. No? Okay, that's cool, yep. Yeah, because once, once Jessica has that, then Angelo can have the dragon's robe. The only kind of one that sort of slightly falls behind an actual chest armor is just Booker at that point. But that's not too bad. We can, uh, we can bear through that bad boy. Is this the place we're not meant to go yet? Okay, there's, there's a door. I think there's some, some areas around here we're not meant to go just yet, but I can't fully... Oh, hello! Oh, I, uh... Can't help but notice you've got some chests in there, lad. Can I come through? Uh, this is the treasure chamber. You may not enter without the Raya's permission. Please leave. Okay. Well, I presume I'm going to be able to get in there soon because, oh, those chests are calling my name. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what, guys and girls, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to end this episode here. So in the next episode, we'll continue to sort of explore around the town, grab the rest of our governs and sort of do the rest of the stuff. And we'll end this... Uh, episode in the shot of that guy jumping the distance. And, um, yeah, so guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. This has been another episode of Dragon Quest 8 The Journey Curse King. Once going to be the Lonesome Ravdor. You guys have been amazing, beautiful, and perfect as ever. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and the series and stuff. And I hope you guys are enjoying the series just as much as I am. So, guys and gals, c'est la vie, hasta vista, and goodbye. Oh, ciao!